Wheat pasture is an outstanding resource in Oklahoma. It gives our producers a competitive advantage economically uh, when they take advantage of it. It's high in protein, it's highly digestible, and it can promote very high gains of growing cattle or, or keep body condition on cows. But the things that make it high quality and promote these high uh, growth of the calves uh, can lead to other issues. And one of those issues is bloat, which is simply a buildup of gas in the rumen. Um, and it's associated with a formation of a, a stable foam on, on the top of the rumen mat. And the gases, fermentation gases in the rumen, bubble up through that and cause this foam buildup. This buildup of gas can lead to suffocation of the animal and, and ultimately death. Most often, when, or very often when we see bloat, it occurs after a period of, of a warm weather when we have uh, wheat pasture growing rapidly and it's very high in uh, soluble proteins and carbohydrates, followed by a very cold night where we have a frost. And what that does is it disrupts the cells in the wheat plant and makes those soluble carbohydrates and proteins more available in the rumen, leading to bloat uh, on these cattle. Uh, other things in that wheat plant that make cattle more susceptible to bloat, along with the protein and the, the sugars or carbohydrates, is it's low in calcium and also low in fiber. The calcium is associated with muscle contraction in the animal, and that could lead to weaker muscle contractions of the rumen. When we have uh, ruminal contractions, that would help expel the, the gas from the rumen. Uh, the low fiber nature of the forage uh, leads to uh, less uh, rumen contractions because fiber uh, is associated with uh, scratch factor on the rumen and, and uh, motility of the rumen, so the, the lack of fiber can lead to, to issues as well. So there are multiple things that come together in that wheat plant that leads it to be bloat provocative or, or increases the bloat nature. There are grazing management uh, opportunities for wheat pasture that could decrease the uh, problem with bloat. Uh, one of those would be to stock the cattle extremely heavily so that they do not uh, are not able to uh, consume as much wheat as they would uh, normally want to, uh, slow down the, the intake rate of that wheat pasture. Um, also, we've seen um, just the opposite, if we are rotationally grazing wheat pasture, we can let it get more mature and build up the fiber in that wheat so that it does not uh, have those conditions that lead it to be uh, uh, causing bloat. The best case is to uh, try to catch it early and, and that can, it can occur very rapidly whenever it starts.